and we're going to take a closer look to see how the hungry habits of the sea otter can affect their underwater home. Now I'm sure many of you are curious as to what the otters are eating this evening, and they're getting a healthy dose of surf plant. We feed the otters a wide variety of seafood here. We also give them squid, shrimp, rockfish, cod, pollock, or sole filet. We also give them living dungeness crabs, and sometimes as a very special treat, we'll give them living sea urchins. And the reason we can give these otters so many different types of food is because a sea otter needs to eat 20 to 25 percent of its weight in food each day. So that means if you could eat like a sea otter, and you weigh about 100 pounds, or just under 50 Sorry. kilograms, you can easily eat anywhere between 80 to 100 quarter pound hamburgers in a single day. Now, sea otters live at the surface of the ocean, but they have to hunt at the bottom for their food. So they dive down, and they use those sensitive paws and the whiskers at the end of their face to hunt. When they find something, they bring it up to the surface, and they eat exactly as you see these three otters eating now, using their bellies as tables. If you look to the armpit of the sea otter, you'll notice they have extra folds of skin there. These areas are called pockets. Now, while hunting for food, a sea otter place as much food as they can into those pockets so they can eat as much as possible when they return to the surface. And lastly, a sea otter will usually grab a tool, a form of a rock, to smash open any shellfish they may have found. They place the rock on their chest and they keep hitting the shellfish on the rock until the shell cracks open revealing the meat inside. If you have a chance, look inside any of the sea otter mouths and you'll see a set of very sharp teeth capable of tearing apart the food they're eating. Now, some people wonder, if the sea otter needs to eat so much, how can they be helping their underwater home? Well, the favorite food of the sea otter happens to be the sea urchin, which is good, because the favorite food of the sea urchin is the kelp that make up the kelp forest. If you were to remove all the sea otters from the kelp forest environment, then all the sea urchins could explode in huge numbers and eat all the kelp in their pathway. This creates areas called urchin barrens. These barrens are a lot like underwater deserts because they cannot support any life whatsoever. But because the otters eat the urchins, they can control how many urchins there are and therefore control how much kelp makes up a kelp forest. There have been many studies that show that there is a direct relationship between the number of otters present and the size of a kelp forest. This has earned the sea otter a special title called Keystone Species because sea otters seem to be the key to the health of the kelp forest environment. Now, while they're swimming around, you'll notice that these sea otters have very dense and thick fur coats. Sea otters have the thickest fur coat in the entire animal kingdom. That means if you can put your thumb anywhere on a sea otter body, but we don't recommend it, you would find more hair under your thumb than on the entire body of an adult human being. And because they have so much fur, they spend the majority of their day grooming, making sure that fur coat stays nice and clean. While grooming, they blow warm air from inside of their body into spaces in the fur. Now this air becomes trapped and acts like insulation, just like we wear lots of clothes on a cold.